Oh, well, well, well. Here we are down at the hardware store. Good old hardware store. Freezing rentals. Down here, keeping ourselves nice and cozy and warm with our Buck and Billy Ray toque on. Now listen, friends, you've probably run into this, okay? People are walking by me thinking I'm nuts. That's life. Axe handles, okay? C can we agree on this? Good wood is good wood. We have hickory here. I'm going to show you something. So the, the, this is this video. We're doing a video on this because this is actually an issue that I've heard so many people talk about. And, and I want to I wanna share my thoughts on this because I went through this in the beginning. Hello there. Say hi to everybody. Oh, There's a, 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 what do you call this man? A, a legend of cedar. <laughs> Just doing a video on some of these old axe handles here. How's mama? So look at that, friends. This actually goes completely sideways, this. Look at that. You can't see it from the bottom. See that? It's going completely sideways. It's not necessarily a bad thing, friends, okay? This is, this is not necessarily bad. I've got, you guys know my, my gorilla, my, my 37 inch big five pound double bit with an ash handle, which is completely sideways. That, and I've beaten the, you know what, out of that. It's sideways grain. It's acting like a big leaf spring on a truck. Now, you see how these are seated? They sit on a shoulder. Years ago, I used to do the same thing. I did, friends. I used to do the same thing because it was about getting the head back on the ax and getting out to the job. See? Same deal. Get slammed down, flat top, slammed down on a, on a shoulder. Well, ah, I'm buying this ax handle because I'm going to show you something. We're going to go home and I'm going to show you what I do with that old. This almost looks like it's half heartwood and half sapwood but it's running a long way. See that? See how it's dark on that side and light on that side? Isn't that interesting, friends? Look at this. As a matter of fact, I think that's what this might be. Actually, I think it is, which don't bother me on this case. It is, look, there it is. There's the heartwood line right there. See it? Boom, runs all the way down. So here's, this is a great handle we can talk about so many things on and I wanna explain this handle to you guys in the way I see it. Now, think about this for a second. Force on an ax handle is this way, right? Down. Well, because the union is this way, there's no force trying to separate it this way. You don't use an ax like that. You use an ax like this. So this actually doesn't bother me that much, friends, because it runs this way. Now, if it ran that way, like the line you could see on the side, you know what I mean, friends? This away? Not a good thing. Not a good thing. We're going to take this axe handle. It's $25. We're going to buy it. I know this company, actually. I do. I know the company. Small Engine Saloon. Hi, everybody. What do you think you're doing around? He, he's trying to ask me if that's hickory or not. I have no clue. No. Okay, so here's the deal, friends. I... I just had to get out. Uh, uh, I was mailing an axe. As a matter of fact, I can't say the name because there's Christmas, like, you know, uh, what do you call it? Surprises. So I don't want to say the wife's name or anything. Um, but I'll tell you something. I just ran into an old buddy of mine from school, Mackie. There he goes, driving truck. I love it. Native fella, eh? I love it. Um, this handle. We're, we're doing a video on this handle. But you know what I'm doing right now? I'm going down to Tim Hortons. I'm getting myself a coffee. Because I'm not doing another video in that shop today. We're not doing it. We're, we're, we're just not doing it. I've, I've got a ton to do in there, but uh, there might be a little mix in there. I'm not sure. But we are going home. It is absolutely miserable. It's blowing. Anyway, friends, <laughs> I love all you people. Let me get this straight. Let me get that. I wonder if Hogan's home. He just got home last night, friends. Is there anybody behind me? Yes, indeed there is. Somebody's getting their coffee bought. Let's have a look here. What am I getting here? Oh, no problem. I'd like a medium coffee with one cream, please. Absolutely. Anything else can I please? No, just a sleeve would be good. Okay, we'll do that for you. It'll be one ninety-five. Thank you. All right, thank you. Well, I'm going to buy this man's coffee behind me. And if he bought himself a lunch, he's getting his lunch too. 
you know, I, I think Bucket wants to do a video on it, is what he wants to do. He wants to show people how to deal with this situation here. You see that, friends? Not a good one. But they got to stop the lathe somewhere, don't they? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, they do. Of course they do. Well, let's get up here and see if we can get somebody's coffee for them and make them smile today. Hey, friends, ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Here we go. Can I get the couple cars behind me too, please? Sorry? I'd like to buy the couple cars orders behind me. Oh, of course. You ordered $1.95? Yeah. Okay. So we have to do it all in summer. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I can't put them all in the morning. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm super sorry about that. Just keep all the change and do it all at once and then give it back to me. Please, thank you. Just myself and the two behind me. Yeah. Arr. Okay. Oh, okay. I was hoping for buy somebody's lunch. <laughs> Thanks. See ya. That was fun. I, I get a kick out of that, friends. Straight up get a kick out of it. I just do. I love it. Johnny, Canary, I think something happened on the journey of your axes here. I love both of these axes. I thought you said there was three in the, in the letter you wrote. I don't know if that's the truth or not, but three did not show up and the box looked really tattered. Like, I mean, really tattered. Now, let's plug you guys in because you're, you're suffering with juice. No juice. You don't have enough juice to keep this game going, so i got to plug you guys in. Boop. There you go. You're plugged in. It's cold in here. I'm about to change that. Right freaking now. You ask, by starting a fire? I say, no, not by starting a fire. I say, by warming us all up with some love and blues. Here's the problem. 
Here's, here's the problem. These guys actually do a great job in their eyes. They do. They do a wonderful job in their eyes. Check this out. Here, I'll find one that'll slip right on. Uh, matter of fact, I know this one will. Yeah, there it goes. And actually, you know what? The, the, these guys don't do too bad, but this is a problem. See? Th that's a problem. Friends, you, you don't, I can almost guarantee you that this will be just under two and a half inches. It, it, it doesn't look bad, but I guarantee it is. It is. It's two and a freaking quarter. So now you put your axe head on and it's two and a quarter all the way down. Now you've got that sway in there. It's not the end of the world, but you've got to use glue and you've got to fill that with your wedge. You've got to do it. Somehow when you put your wedge in and fill that space in there, you just need to. I'm telling you, these are tips I want to share with you. This is a Killinger's handle. Look at this. Oh, this axe is nuts. Somebody's getting this sucker, and they're going to be the happiest person around. Okay, I'm excited today. I'm in a freaking good mood. I don't know why. I just am. I think it was that trip down to the coffee house. Okay, friends. Before I go back over and I tackle that freaking post vice again with longer lags, I'm going to get longer lags. I'm in the end grain, friends. That's, <clears throat> that's part of it. So what I'm going to do is here. Okay, so here was what I was using. That's what I was using. This is what I got. Now, this just was not working. Okay, so now it's kind of like it's pre-drilled. Check this out, friends. This, these things are amazing. Check this out, friends. Watch this. simplest way to do it do the brackets. Oh, 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 oh. She's grabbing friends. Really good. This one here. Where's the other one? Ah, I gotta find it somewhere. Oh. See when you're in end grain like I knew it was the end grain getting to me and that drill I got friends it's powerful that that whatever they call it, DeWalt. It's freaking powerful. Those are wrong. Let's put these here. You see this a lot. Here's what I do to get rid of the varnish. Friends, listen, You, I used to do it all by hand, but some beautiful people sent me this, this sander and time is of the essence for me nowadays. So I just freaking... You know what I mean? I use the sander on it. Well, but if you don't have a sander, this is about the guy that doesn't have the sander. It's it. This is for the guy who doesn't have anything but simple stuff. What about a knife? You want to make an ax? You don't have this? You don't have that? Hey, I didn't in the beginning either. I had nothing. I'm just going to use the bare freaking necessities. Use your freaking pocket knife. You want to strip this rubbish off here? I used to do it all the time. I just put this like this, here, like this. You don't have this, you don't have that. Look at it. It's a, it's a freaking knife. Okay, same with the varnish. Look at the varnish, it's disappearing. Just get yourself a knife. Don't, don't let, uh, just because you see uh, see all these guys, including myself with a sander, friends. I just got that sander like, a what, a year ago? I've been on YouTube making axes for five years, maybe longer. So I'm just telling you, don't, don't, don't find excuses to, to not do something. Find reasons to do things, okay? You don't have to do what I'm doing. You can stick it in your vise. Try both sides of your of your tool. Try it frontwards, try it backwards. This is backwards now and it works wonderful backwards. Look at this. Look at that. I don't have to sand it. I like doing the old school gig. Okay. The handle, 
is stripped of all its yellowness all by hand. I just gave it a final little sanding just to get off any little remnants of that, that varnish because it'll show up after your burns and after your, your watkas and stuff. It'll show up. So I just want to make sure it's gondied. So go over it good in the light. Now look at this. This handle is half heartwood and half sapwood. Do you see that, friends? It is. There's the line right there. Can you guys see that? You can, can't you? Of course you can. But the thing is about this, it runs dead square down the handle. Look. So this side of the handle is heartwood right to the top. And this side is sapwood right to the top. So axe force is this way, right? Is down, not like this. If it was this way, if it went through this way, I, I would have a concern. This is, even though it's not my, my desired idea of a good handle, this is going to be a strong handle. Okay. This is actually a really nice ax handle, friends. A super nice ax handle. But here's the problem with it. Let me see something here. Check this out. Here's another one. This this will go right on. Yeah, see this? Th this will actually go right on. Hello. We're down. We're on the shoulder. That's, that's about it. Maybe another quarter inch if you were lucky, but I doubt it. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Look at That don't work. I should probably just light a freaking fire. I'm going to be in and out of here. Okay, this is how you start a fire real quick when you need to fire real quick. Make small, small kindling. I'm gonna have this fire going right while I'm speaking to you. No paper. Crisscross pattern. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm doing. That, that. I'm not cracking that in half, it won't happen. Here we go, there's another one. Boom. Come here. Bang. That's it. Started on this. See that? Watch what happens. We got our fire cracking. Oh yeah, you're in a beautiful spot there. Let's do this. Just so you see what I'm doing, then I'll back you guys out again. Start down here. Okay, this is the side that pulls big shanks off. You've got to be careful of that. What some guys do will go backwards, okay? What I do is I kind of come across on a 45 like this. See that big chunk it just took out? You see that, friends? Look at that. That's what you have to be careful of. Because you can go too far and you can wreck it instantly. The other side won't do it. This side will. You've got to you gotta have a super sharp knife and be very careful at this point. You do, friends. You've got to be super duper careful. You get too hungry, you'll wreck your axe handle and you'll be down to the store. Okay? Luckily, this one's okay. You see what I'm doing?
you'll know when you're there because you start bumping into this piece here now. Want? You can you can flip this over like this. It helps, absolutely, because it kind of scrape cuts. There we go. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna show you guys what I did. And then I'm backing you out because you understand what I'm talking about already. I know you do. And then I'll take a little off down lower in here, right? To blend it. Okay, but I just wanted to show you what we're doing. Okay? Look at that. Okay. That fire's roasting now. Okay, this is the other side. This almost looks like, uh, yeah, see what I mean, friends? This side doesn't do it. This is the heartwood side. Now be careful on that heartwood now. See the chunks were taken? Turn your draw knife on a little bit of an angle so it draws in and cuts in. You'll probably have to blend the hump where you started. <clears throat> now what we do is we go after the shoulder. We can only make the shoulder, see? We gotta drop our shoulder. We've only got so much room, but we gotta drop it, friends. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So now we gotta go in here. So let's say about here. So friends, this part you have to be you have to be careful on on this part. Um, don't just just be so careful at this part we are literally taking about that much friends we're we're dropping that this this handle was designed for just a, a basic like a uh one of them regular old chinese heads or like a, a dayton or a michigan pattern and it was designed for a flat top that's it we're putting a tazzy on there, which is three and three quarter inches or four inches. But thank graciousness, on the back of the shoulder there, there was enough wood where the two, two you know, segments meet, the, the curl up at the top and the curl at the bottom, you know what I mean? Where it meets at the shoulder there, that I could drop that. But one wrong scrape, one wrong move, it's over. Just take your time, understand what you're looking at needs to drop down about an inch. So this worked really nice. This is the intricate work of this job. Not the rest of it, it's this one. Let's get back to it, shall we? See how the back shoulder is down lower? Okay. So this has to come up. See that big chunk that just took out? See how risky I took that? I went pretty risky on that one, friends. This doesn't fit, so let's find the one that does fit just so we just for shingles and gingles, okay? Oh, imagine that. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. Interesting.
Dead squirt. Would you look at that, friends? And and by golly, Jim, would you look at that? That was the one that was about an inch to... You see what I just done, friends? This isn't even the head. This is just one I'm using for practice to show you that that's how you do that. And we've still got girth here. Well, well, friends, <laughs> you know, uh, hello, everybody. It's me, Sven. I know it's been a long time since you've seen me. A long time, I know. But, you know, I am a man from the old country. And when the, my family calls me, I must go to see them, friends. I hope you understand I have not been here for a long time because of this old country business I have to take care of, I guess. Okay. Um, Billy tells me that uh, he was here sharing some stuff about the hardware store or grocery store axe handle. He's come quite a ways, I can tell by his work. He's done this before. Um, you know, we found an axe head, friends. Uh, that, well, let me show you instead of rambling. Uh, this one... And we're not down yet, friends. This someone played around with something in there. I don't know what they did. To cut the wood, the chop of the tree, anything with, uh, we call it the Tazzy pattern. Man, it's so good to be here and see you, friends. Christmas is coming. I've not been here for a long, long time. Oh, friends, this is coming along very nice. To the new subscriber, you do not know who I am, maybe. Um, the first time I showed up on this uh, Billy's channel was... Um, Oh my goodness, uh, the Logger Wade, that crazy YouTube guy, uh, Logger Wade. I built axe for him. It was my first time here on the channel. Yes. Now, friends, let me get this straight. We are uh, we are hitting uh, somewhere. We are not down on this shoulder yet because we are hitting on the front. And I will straighten that out right now. You can see, eh? Yes. This is where we are hitting. We are hitting nowhere else. Maybe a little bit at the back. Yes, we are at the back. Just a little bit. You see? Yes. Flip around me. You will see, friends. You will see when I'm done this one. Uh, I do not want this grinding on here yet. I really enjoyed the making the handwork, friends, with the with the draw knife. I will show you now what happens. Uh, okay, here we go. Ready? So, friends, we were hitting on the front, right? Yes. You will see what happens now. There we go. Oh my goodness gracious! Oh dear lord! Oh my goodness! This is crazy. Okay, here we go, friends. We are starting to come together and we are straight up and down. This one is looking very, very good, this one. You remember when I started this channel with Billy, I would say Juan. It was my favorite word to say a long time ago, Juan. I quite enjoy it. You need to see this because it's turning into an ax. Look at friends, look at. You see how close we are getting to the back now? Yes, a little bit more work and this thing is done from you will not fix this part that has the hole because someone drilled in it there, uh, you see? They put some kind of drill bit in there or something. It does not bother me, not at all. You see? Let's get this better now. I heard you guys had a little chat with Sven there. <laughs> Been a long time since we've seen him, eh? <laughs> yeah, he's a good man. He's a hard worker, that Sven. I love him. He's a good man. Friends, I gotta be honest. Uh, we completely transformed this handle completely transformed it i even thinned it out it was too big at the bottom it was a big club at the bottom but it was a club in a weird kind of way i don't mind a big club at the bottom but they didn't have it contoured you know what i mean by that like it, it just it just didn't no it wasn't right and it is now and i thinned it down quite a bit actually and this thing is coming together very nicely very nicely and the front's crazy Okay, Just give me a sec, I gotta cut this curve. There we go. I didn't need much, just a little bit. I don't want much. I'm just a little 
I don't want it all. Apple's done. I'm burning it right now. You guys are going to watch. It is getting hot in here. I'm, I'm telling you, uh, don't bypass handles from the from the store. But the problem with this one is half heartwood, it's half sapwood. It may bend now. It may. Always click your gas thing there. That's map gas. It's hot. Really hot. Oh. Okay. Did it bend? No, it didn't. It's absolutely just this is this is a nice handle, friends. I rock a little sandpaper on her sometimes at 120 or something. This thing's almost toasted. What freaking time is it? Yeah, this is almost done here now. But it does something. It takes off the little. When you burn wood, little slivers come up. Look at how beautiful this is, friends. Oh, oh, oh! Son of, son of, son of, son of! Oh, that's a big one. Got me. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. The steel is nice. I got. It's warm in here, friends. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is, see, here, here we go, right? Here, here's the final show right here, right now. Okay. You see what I'm saying? That's how far. Okay. So I, I want to share this again with you guys, gals, women, and children. Look at, that's as far as I can get it to go. And then it starts to fight me. That last little bit starts to fight me right there. Okay. See, that's where it starts to fight, okay? Which is an excellent thing. That's what you want. You want it to fight you right there, okay? Look, it's not going on. That's it. It, it won't go on by hand. This is interesting. Did you hear that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa, it almost, you know what? I'm pretty proud of this. I'll be honest. I've worked this freaking axe so hard. It's dead square, but here's the thing I'm most proud of. Wow. Okay, that right there, that is gonna be right where I always make them, right there. Okay, about an inch back, I would reckon. Less than three quarters. Okay, look at this. We're freaking proud. Right there, friends. I, I, I. Just take your time. Take your time. This is a, a sweet tool. It's better down here now, friends. It wasn't. It was something was wrong. It was too fat. It just. It went. Oh, this feels okay. And then, oh, that's kind of weird down there. So it's fixed. And and, and rocking the sock, baby. Okay, I'm telling you right now, I've almost filled that gap there. And I'm, I'm starting to see um, curl. Not a ton, and I don't want a ton, but I can see it. Axe. Let's put one of these on there. Spotted gum, right there. This is the one from my buddy Ish and Maca. Maca with the spotted gum. Hmm. <laughs> I'll tell you, friends, when you spend that much time on an axe, uh, seriously, friends, when you, oh, when you spend that much time on an axe, um, you, you want to get uh, this part square, okay? So look at your, look at your curve. Look what you got. So you go, oh, it's a little bigger there or that. If you want to take the time to pull it out 10, 15 times to cut the curve bigger or take wood, that's totally up to you. 
I choose to form my wedge. And this is what I mean by that. I gotta make sure that you guys got light. Right, friends? There's more space at the back, so the wedge at the back is gonna be bigger. I'm gonna cram this sucker down there right now. Look at this gum, you can... You can just smash it. Oh! Boom, 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 boom. Let's get rid of our uh, glue. Do a little sanding. Friends, this was a handle from the freaking department store, the hardware store, friends. And it's solid. It's solid. You guys saw it. It was half hardwood and half sapwood. And it was all messed up up here. This, is, this took me a long time, this axe. It took me a long time. I'm going in to see my wife, my kid I haven't seen for over a week. He's been in Mexico. He's back tonight. He was sleeping. He was back actually last night, late last night. Uh, this right now, I'm telling you, it's a four pound head. The, 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 the pattern, the, uh, it's convex. Yes, indeed it is. Yes, indeed it is. And it's glorious. It's absolutely glorious. I will swing this ax in the wood and you will see that it is a destroyer of the woodness. Okay, young fellas, old fellas, all fellas, everybody get out, look at that freaking profile. What in the heck just happened? Oh dear Lord, Plum. Plum USA. Look at, hi, I'm a Plum Axe from USA. Yeah, I sure am. I was made for the Australian market. Mm-hmm, and I done a nice job, and now I'm back. Oh my goodness. I don't even, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Friends, get outside. Get in the wood pile. Even if you don't have wood, somebody does and they're burning. Look for smoke chimneys burning. See if you can help somebody out. Yeah. Get on an ax. It feels so good. It's such a primitive, barbaric, ancient thing. It's one of the oldest tools in the world. And it saved my can a couple times in my lifetime thus far. And probably will again. Love these things. Over and out, friends. Be kind. Hit all the buttons. You know what to do. They're all there. Upside down, upside right, this way, that way. Just be kind and love yourself. Catch you on the next video. Over and out.